What is happening? Right, well, I should probably itch my nose. <coughs> I thought I started recording. Wait, like, how do you start, a, how do you start a YouTube video? I don't actually know where to start. Hello guys, what's happening? It's Nathan. That was just weird, didn't it? Hi guys, what's happening, troops? No, right, seriously, what is happening? So, I put a video on TikTok. And I put a video on Instagram, basically just asking people to ask me questions, and I'll answer them. Didn't it go as well as I thought it was going to go? I think I got, what was it, like 10 questions. So, aye. But, um, what about this? The ones I didn't get, I'm going to answer them right now. But, um, thank you to everybody that did ask me a question. Um, and engaged with the video because obviously shows me that he's want to know some stuff he's want to in like just interacting with my content like i said i want to do more of this stuff i want to do more youtube i want to do more um tiktok videos i want to be more active on instagram and all that good stuff so i i'm just going to stop talking shit got my questions down here on this this old bad boy i started putting stickers in this right this is about six year old now but I started putting stickers on this and then um, somebody thought it would be funny to put that on there. <laughs> Anyways, we move on. Right, so first question is from TT. I put it I put it somewhere here. I'm gonna point as if like I know what I'm doing. So the first question is I hope that worked. If you could have wrote any song and album out there that's quite um quite unprofessional isn't it? if you could have wrote any song and album out there which would it be so i'd say probably so first of all the album i'd probably say ed sheeran's plus because i feel like that was the one that kind of shot him right up there um and it was the one that kind of brought him all the, f no, the fame. Brought him all the fame. Aye. 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 Plus. Plus. I definitely say plus. Um, it's Ed Sheeran. What a guy. So, you'll not be surprised to know that the song I'd like to wrote, if I, like, I could pick any song to say, oh, I wrote that, it would be Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Because I think that is an absolute fucking, that's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Iconic. Iconic. That's not another word I'm looking for. God knows. Basically what I'm trying to say is what a tune. What a tune. That's what I'm trying to say. That would probably be the song I'd like to have wrote because that is just an absolute hit and then that's like there's people going to be dancing to that in like sixty years' time at weddings. That's still gonna be about like a hundred percent that is just still that is one of these songs that is played in 30, 40, 50 years time. Um and everybody still loves it and knows the words and slow dances to it at weddings and parties and all that, so I I really like that song. Next question from the man himself, Mr. Banana Hat. He has asked me, who's your biggest inspiration when writing songs? Going back to the last question, Ed Sheeran, what a guy. Like, he's wrote songs for everybody. Like, literally everybody. So, I definitely that guy. Because I've listened to every one of his songs. Like, I, I play guitar. Like, like to copy his style every so often um, just I that guy not even like when I'm writing songs just like music in general he is just an inspiration just throughout music in itself for me um, not even just writing songs everything else playing guitar singing everything like he is the guy another person that I'd like to add into that actually is um, Dermot Kennedy because he is absolutely phenomenal like, what a guy, what a voice. His songs, every one of his songs are absolutely fantastic. There is not, I don't think there is a bad Dermot Kennedy song. I don't think there is. Aye, every song is an absolute banger. It's a, <laughs> amazing. We're absolutely running through this. This is going to be the quickest Q&A you've ever seen in your life. So, the next question is from Ginge. I stopped doing this. Next question is from Ginge.
I don't even I don't even know if that's in screen. God knows, fuck knows. Um, is when did I get my new guitar? So I got a new. I don't know if you can see that. Obviously, obviously you can see it, but like, I don't know if you can see it. Yet. It's a GS Mini Taylor GS Mini. So, I've got this, it is an early, a very early, some would probably say, because it's only the beginning of de December, um, but uh, it's a very early Christmas present. Um, I, had, I had one ages ago, I had the Mahogany GS Mini, probably about four or five years ago, maybe even longer to be fair. Maybe six years ago, I had one and then I sold it because I pretty much I had the big guitar and I had the wee guitar, and I was only playing the one. I was only playing my big one all the time, and so I was like, ah, pff, there's no point. I want a camera, but at the time I wanted a camera. Um, I was like, I can't really afford one and just go out and just buy one. There's nothing really. I'd like to sell something, and really I was looking about it and all the heck I could sell it. Uh, like, no, nah, I basically had an excess was the guitar, so I sold that and I bought a camera with it, and then I sold the camera and bought what did I buy? <sighs> Can't remember, but I I like to just I buy something and then I sell it, then I buy something else and I sell that, then I buy something else, and I got bored and I sell that. It's the same way, literally in in my life is I sell it and I buy a new one. No, I'm, nah, I'm bored now. Sell it, buy a new one. But aye, this one is here to stay because it is absolutely phenomenal. This is definitely it's here to stay. So the next question is from Garrison Duck Pond. Favourite song, favourite artist, and least favourite food? Favourite song? I wouldn't say I have a favourite song. If I was to say like all time favourite song, it would probably be something by Demet Kennedy, Ed Sheeran, Sheeran or Louis Capaldi. That would probably be, aye, Ed Sheeran, Louis Capaldi or Demet Kennedy. That's probably, it would be for one of the artists. But, probably everybody will be shocked when they watch us. It was 20, 2020, 2020 wrap up or wrapped up on Spotify and like that thing that it shows you if you use Apple Music, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about. But Spotify, they round up like all the music that you've listened to and they basically show you at the end of the year, like, here is how like you've spent your time listening to your music. This is what you've listened to most. All that shit. I basically all your analytics. In my most played song of 2020, you'll never guess it. I'll put it, I'll put it here somewhere. Aye. How many has guessed that was going to be the song? Nah, me either. Well, obviously me, because that's the kind of music I listen to whenever I know what I sing. It's like UK rap, grime. That is the, the, the go-to genre. Favourite artist? Basically already covered that. Ed Sheeran, Dermot Kennedy, probably. They too. Louis Capaldi's right up there too. Um, and my least... My least favourite food, without a shadow of a doubt, beans. Ooh, ooh. See if... Nah, I just... They give me the creeps, man. Who in the fuck eats beans? And goes, oh, they're actually... They're very, very good. See when people eat beans on toast. Mm. Actually makes me feel sick. Makes me feel sick. And I've got a pal who constantly tortures me with videos. 
eight people in beans. There was somebody downing a pint of beans. There was, the other day there was people in a bath full of beans. Like, one, why are you sending me these videos? Two, why are people making these videos? And three, why are they making them? Like, people must be watching these videos. That's fucking weird. Just beans in general. Don't like them. Disgusting. Next question, I guess. <laughs> Orange Pookie Pie has asked me, if you could only drink one tea for the rest of your life, what would it be? And I'm not really sure in the, the question. Like, I don't under, I don't know if I don't understand it or if I do understand it and I just think to myself, well, I only drink one kind of tea, so... Like, just, just a regular tea at least tea. Three sugar and milk. Sometimes four sugar, depending on how I feel. I don't really drink coffee unless I'm buying it for somewhere. Like, I hardly drink coffee. I'm absolutely addicted to Monster right enough. I should probably stop that. But I don't because I've got a habit and it's very bad. But, anyways, tea, tea at least, three sugar, maybe four sugar, milk. That's you. That's all you need. I see if somebody was to say that's all you're drinking for the rest of your life. I'd be sound with that. Very sound. That I. I probably will be drinking that for the rest of my life, to be fair. Then, Casey Parent, Cassie Parent, Casey Parent, Cassie Parent. One of the two. I'm going to say Casey Parent. How long have you been married? So, me and the wife have been together for nearly 10 years. We've been, been together nine and a bit years, I think it's like nine years and two months or something. We have been married since the 31st of August uh, 2019. So, just over a year, was that August, July, August, September, October, November, a year and four months, so, aye, and to be fair, we were very, 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 very lucky, well, lucky, is that the word, mm. aye, we were lucky because we were actually meant to have it, I think it was last month, I think it was November it was set for, and uh, me and the wife just looked at each other and we were like, well, me and the wife looked at each other, she, she went and done it herself and I just said that anymore. She went and sorted it so that um, she was like, is there any time we could bring that forward like into this year, like 2019? Is there any way um, we could bring this into this year? Is there any dates at the venue we were at? She went and spoke to the woman there and uh, luckily there was because otherwise we would not have been married um, and there were would have been complications because obviously COVID and all that. So, um, I, I'm glad she did um, go and get it moved forward. Because we were married, so I otherwise COVID would have ruined it and we wouldn't have been married. I don't actually know where I was coming at. Last question was asked. I put, I put this on TikTok and got most of my and my questions for there. Um and then I put it on Instagram and I got one question. And to be fair, it is a very it's quite a thought thought provoking question. So I thought I'd leave it to the last. So I'll put it I'll put it here somewhere. Right, hopefully it's here now. See the messages. Infuriating. Infuriating. Like, I know they're just trying to promote and they're trying to like do their job. Because obviously I mail them and say, okay, promote me. And then they're like, right, okay, give a hundred quid. No, like, see if I had to do that, if every time somebody messaged me or put that under an Instagram post, I'd have no money. And even at that, like, I'd rather just do it myself rather than pay somebody else to do it. That's not the point. I don't have any money. And that isn't going to help me get any money. So, I, di I didn't DM him. I didn't send him a DM because I'm skint and if anybody wants to promote me for free until I get some cash then, albeit, I'm, I'm your man for free promotion, I am there, but until then, mate, Covid, and I'm a part time postman, so, eh, pfft, I've no money, so thanks for the offer, but no deal, no. Anyways, that's the end of the video.
Um, aye. I hope she enjoyed it. And I hope to tune in next time because the video will be just as shy and you'll waste just about the same amount of time, no doubt. Unless it's a song video, then I'm not too bad at that stuff. But um, this kind of stuff, I need to get better. I definitely need to get better. But with practice comes great responsibility. Thank you. I know this is the end of the video and you're probably watching this right at the very end if you've watched this far but I've just realised that you could see the screen on my watch that full time and also what the what is that where did that come from pen everywhere hope you enjoyed the video see you next time and I need to stop looking at myself. I am not there. I am here.